Hi, I'm Captain Doc Hawley. You're on board the Seaman Natchez down here on the mighty Mississippi. If the river had a voice, it would be the Calliope. They were designed by a Vermont man who was kind of a, a little kooky, and he decided to have the steam music up in the church steeples to play hymns and things along with the bells. He forgot the steam would turn back to water when you weren't playing. So you had to drain the darn thing every time it was played. So it was kind of shoved aside. Then Barnum came along and said, it's the perfect thing for my circus. So I'm gonna put these in all my circuses and circus parades and he actually put one on a boat on the, on the Hudson River. And incidentally, the one and only P.T. Barnum is the one that put that name on the instrument. The Calliope, from the earliest days, announced the boat's presence in a given town. A lot of the littler towns didn't even have a daily newspaper. We would stop at towns like Donaldsonville, Louisiana, St. Francisville, and places that didn't have media. But the minute they heard the calliope, they knew the boat was in town. It was the Pied Piper. In fact, I've been referred to as the Pied Piper of the French Quarters. When I started on the river, there were at least 20 steamboats. And all of those boats had calliopes. It was really a prerequisite. It was really, really important to have a calliope. Mainly the strictest boats would go up north, taking New Orleans bands with them. And they took the New Orleans sound up the river before radio was invented, before TV. I think that's very important to New Orleans musicologists. Then during Katrina, the boat was gone for a month. And when they started back playing that calliope, people called me at home, said, man, I'm glad to hear that calliope. Their daily existence was built around the smell of the, the beignets cooking and the calliope playing. It's a, a real source of fascination because when you see one of them, it's the only music that you can see. You can see the steam before you hear the sound. And so it's like, wow, I'm looking at this music. <laughs> there was no music ever written for the calliopes, which only have 32 notes. The Star Spangled Banner wouldn't even begin to fit. I ended up playing the calliope on just about every boat that I was on simply because calliope players are hard to find. <laughs> yeah.